I done did a lot, did a lot. Just live this here lifestyle. Can't skate from the bottom to the top of my lifestyle. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going through my highlighting and contour routine for you guys. I go through creams, powders, everything from A to B. So I really hope that you guys like this video and you find it interesting. And if you do, please be sure to let me know in the comments or just generally drop me a comment and I'll be replying to them. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to follow my Instagram. It is at Beauty by Devi with two V's and I'll have it down here throughout the video. I hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you all in two seconds. Okay, so step one is to make sure that you are nicely moisturized. The most important thing is setting a good base when you want to highlight and contour, especially if you're going in quite heavy with the makeup. So you need to make sure that you are well moisturized before you go any further so I have already moisturized my face and now I'm gonna go in with the second point which is priming so for primer I'm gonna be using the Too Faced hangover replenishing face primer this one I think is really great because it's so moisturizing you guys know that I have spoken about this primer like all the time like it's just my favorite it's like kind of obvious now but um yeah I love it because it's so moisturizing especially for someone that has dry skin like myself um, if I'm wearing a lot of makeup and powder throughout the day it can really um, take its toll on my skin especially the next day so this one is really great for just locking in that moisture for a long period of time so once I've gone in with that first primer I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer and I'm going to take this um, in just the areas where I have slightly larger pores so I just take a little blob of it it's like a very similar consistency to the Smashbox um, primer so I would definitely recommend this as a dupe if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper I'm pretty sure this was only like four pounds or something and I got it off I think it was Beauty Bay um, so what I'm doing is just massaging that into my cheek area where I get big pores and also where I have any fine lines. So on my forehead at the top and also down the center over here. I feel like you wanna be really careful with how much you apply of this because if you use too much, it can kind of take away the makeup from your face as you're applying your foundation, which we obviously do not want. So be very careful when you're applying this. Okay, next step is foundation. So it's so important, as I said, to have a good base and the foundation is key because it really sets the tone for the rest of your base makeup. So as you guys know, I am obsessed with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It is such a gorgeous finish. Oh my gosh, it's so moisturizing and hydrating, which is exactly what I like to look for in a foundation. I prefer a glowy, finish but that's just my personal preference but i really wish there was one that was slightly lighter coverage because i don't like wearing this one every day because it is medium to full coverage so that's a little bit annoying but i don't mind because it's just that great so as you guys know i've been complaining that my one has been way too dark for me lately because my tan has subsided so i actually went out and bought um another one and this is in a lighter shade this is in the shade golden beige and it's a lot lighter um because i wanted one to be like the lightest shade of foundation that i could need so worst case i can always mix the two together also as i'm sure you guys have probably noticed i have some pesky spots at the moment so please ignore them and we're going to do our best to see if we can cover them up so I've dotted this all over my face and now I'm going to go in and blend this out. I'm going to be taking this foundation brush from the body shop. Um, I just got this the other day and I'm really loving the way that it applies my foundation. You know your hoops are too big when you need to literally like actively pull them away from your face to blend your foundation.
So once I have blended that out with the foundation brush, I'm going to be taking this stippling brush and my all nighter setting spray and I'm just going to spray my brush to dampen it a little bit and I'm going to use this to really buff the foundation into the skin. As you can see, I'm using circular motions to try and really make sure that this is going into the skin. I then decided to go in with a second coat because I really wanted this look to be full coverage. So here I am just dotting the foundation all over again and then I just go back in with the stippling brush to buff all of this out. Okay, now we're gonna go and sort out this spot over here. So I kind of forgot to color correct before, so that's my bad. But I'm gonna take my NYX Full Coverage Concealer, and this is in green. It just comes in this little pot. And I'm gonna take a small amount with this little brush, and I'm just gonna apply it straight to the area. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit more foundation just to cover up that green area. I'm pushing the product inwards to concentrate in that area and create a greater coverage. This way you're pushing the product into the skin rather than swiping it around. Okay, I feel like that will do for now. So I know it is too light for me now, I swear I just can't get it right, too light, too dark, one or the other. But we are gonna sort that out, so no worries. So, step number, oh, I forgot to do the steps. Now it's time to highlight. So I like to highlight and conceal all in one go. So to do that, I'm going to be using, this is gonna be so predictable by the way, so don't expect anything crazy, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Medium, which is probably not gonna be that much lighter for me right now, because this is quite light. But I'm still going to go in with this and highlight the areas of my face. So you want to go in under the eyes, on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, the tip of your nose and your chin. So the idea of highlighting is to allow the highest points of your face to appear as if they're coming outwards. So that is kind of the objective. and. If it's coming outwards, it's gonna have more light hitting those areas. So that's why we are going to highlight the highest points of our face, or the areas that we want to come across like the highest points of our face. I'm going to be taking my ABH Cream Contour Kit, and this is in medium, and I'm going to be taking this face oil that I have, and I'm just going to be putting it into both of these two bright shades. This just helps the product to be a little bit easier to work with. It makes it oilier and easier to blend as well. So now we're going to go in with some contouring. So I'm taking the same palette and I'm taking the lightest brown contour shade and I'm taking that with this flat brush and I'm going to use this to draw on the contour lines on my face. So you want to put this in the areas of your face that have a shadow. So it's 
usually relatively near to where you have applied the highlight because it's usually underneath or around it because it's where a shadow has been cast on that area. I hope that made sense. Hopefully you'll get what I mean when you see. So as I draw the line, I take the product upwards because you don't want to blend out the dark shades any lower than the line that you're drawing. So generally you want to make sure that you're blending upwards instead of downwards because otherwise you'll come out with a very muddy contour which isn't what you want. Now it's time to blend all of this together. So we are just about to blend out the concealer. So for that I'm going to be using my Morphe sponge and now I'm going to be blending it out. Now I'm just going to be taking my stippling brush and pushing in all of that product again. Now it's time to sort out the contour. So I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques sculpting brush. This is so amazing for blending out cream contour. Honestly, you need to try it and I swear you'll be converted. It's amazing. So I'm just going to use this to blend out my contour and I'll be back. So as you'll be able to see here, I am blending the contour upwards just as I mentioned earlier and I'm being really careful with this which is why this brush is really really good because it's got the point on the end which allows you to be as precise as you need to be for the cheekbone area. So as you can see, for blending out the nose contour, I've gone in with a fluffy brush because this makes it so much easier to blend out and gives you a lot more precision. Okay, now once that's done, it's time to set all of those areas. So what I'm going to be doing is taking my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to use this to set the areas that we concealed. Now immediately under my eyes is where I'm going to pack the most of this on but in the rest of the places I'm going to be a little bit more sparing with the powder because I don't want it to come across cakey. So normally I will use some of this but I will also use my NYX HD finishing powder which comes in this little compact for the areas that need a little bit less powder setting. So to start I'm just tapping out any creases that may have formed because otherwise when you add the powder you're just going to be setting the creases in place instead of tapping them out. So you need to make sure to blend that concealer out and it really helps to look upwards as you're doing this and then go and apply the powder as soon as you can straight afterwards. Okay, now it is time to set the contour. So, to start, I'm going to be using my Tarte Park Avenue Princess um, bronzer. So this is a shimmery bronzer and it is quite light. Um, and I use this to generally bronze up my face before I go in and refine um, a sharper contour, if that's the kind of look I'm going for. But as that's what we're focusing on today, I will obviously be doing that. 
So first I'm just going to go in with this bronzing brush. What is this called? This is called a powder brush and um, this is from Real Techniques and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the areas that we have contoured. Okay, now that has given us a really nice bronzed glow and evened out the colour a little bit more. Now, I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and this is what we're going to use to actually contour. So, I am going to be using my small contour brush. You know what, I can't even pretend to work out what number this is. This is by Sigma. Now I'm taking the sharp edge of this sponge with the leftover powder just to clean up the contour. Okay, so now we have finished the contouring. So I'm going to go in and just finish up the rest of my face, apply some blush, highlight, all that stuff, and then I'll be back to talk to you in two seconds. Okay guys, that is the end of this look. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, please remember to click the bell icon just next to the subscribe button. Basically, that just means that you'll be notified every time I post a video so you never miss one of my uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Mwah. Bye guys. Did a lot, did a lot Just to live this here lifestyle Can't skate from the bottom to the top of my lifestyle